We have already practiced five IGCSE past paper questions on the topic sound. This is our sixth question. And if you are liking all the videos that we have been doing on this channel, then please do subscribe. Before I start this question, again, I would remind to you all that please pause the video, try to solve the question yourself, come back and play the video to look at the answers. So let us understand what is happening in the question. State the range of the frequency of the sound which can be heard by a healthy human ear. I just read part A of the question. What is the range of frequencies? Now there are certain set of numbers that you need to remember and by heart them. As I told you, this is also a number that you need to buy heart. 20 to 20,000 hertz. It's the range of frequency which can be heard by a healthy human ear. Similarly, the speed of light, the speed of sound. These are the numbers that you need to buy heart and remember. So this is your answer already explained in the theory videos as well. Now part B, compressions and refraction occur along the path of the sound wave. State in terms of the behavior of molecule, what is meant by compressions and refraction. So as we have solved so many questions already, five questions already, you would have understood a pattern. That these questions, the questions to define compressions and refraction are very, very common. So you need to learn how to write the answer for these. We have already practiced this time and again in the previous set of questions. That's why solving past paper question is a good habit because when you sit for your final exams, finally, after completing your syllabus, you'll not get shocked when you look at the question paper. You'll automatically understand and expect when you see these kind of questions in the question paper because you would have already solved them in your practice, right? So better than getting shocked while sitting in the examination hall, it's a good idea that you go through the past papers and practice these questions yourself. All right. So where compression is, where the air molecules or molecules are pushed together, they are compressions close together where there is a high pressure, right, or more density, that's a compression. Similarly, refraction the other way round. Refer the mark scheme and understand how these questions are answered. So 20, as we answered for the part A, 20 to 20,000 hertz. Your answer should be 20 to 20,000 hertz. So even if you say 15 to 15,000, 25 to 25,000, somewhere in that range, it is acceptable but easier numbers to remember is 20 to 20,000 hertz. The lower number, the lower number can be anything from 15 to 25 and the higher number similarly can be anything from 1500 to 2500, right? Your wish to memorize what these numbers because questions on these are very very common do not lose marks just because you fail to memorize such easy numbers right let us come to the part c state the effect on what is heard by a listener when there is an increase in the amplitude again this is a repeat of question that you all have been saying amplitude goes up means more loud more loud in decrease in the wavelength earlier if the wave was something like this let us understand this term if earlier the wave was like this the wavelength has gone down the crest have come close together so when the wavelength goes down what happens to the frequency frequency goes up frequency goes up means more is the pitch You should know how to relate relate the wavelength and the frequency. If you do not know, draw the waves yourself and see it for yourself. In the first picture, first wave, higher wavelength. Second picture, lower wavelength, decreased wavelength. Decre when you decrease the wavelength, you see that the frequency has gone up, more number of waves present. High frequency means more pitch. All right, let us come to the part D. A student carries out an experiment to find the speed of the sound in the air. He stands facing a high cliff and shouts. He hears the echo 1.9 seconds later. So let us draw the picture. Say that this is your student. 
in front of a cliff. This is your cliff. Okay, he hears the echo, the time taken for the echo to be heard, let's call it time T1, 1.9 seconds. He then walks 250 meters further away from the cliff and shouts again. Say that earlier he was closer because there is no space. Say earlier that he was here. And the time taken for the echo to be heard was 1.9 seconds. Now he has gone further away. How much away? 250 meters away. He's gone 250 meters away and the new time taken for the echo to be heard, say T2, new time taken, it is 3.5 seconds. Calculate the speed of the sound given by this experiment. Speed of the sound. Speed, the formula for the speed is distance over time. Are we given any distance here? We are given this small distance. 250 meters all right so 250 meters how much is the time taken by the sound to travel this this distance if you subtract t2 minus t1 say that you t is equal to t2 minus t1 3.5 minus 1.9 how much is it if you subtract 15 minus 9 is 6, 1.6. In this 1.6 seconds, the sound is traveling all the way from this person to this location and coming back. In this particular time, time t is equal to 1.6 seconds, the sound is traveling this 250 meters twice because the sound is going all the way here and coming back right so 250 here plus 250 total distance is 2 times the 250 over the time is 1.6 let us understand in this 1.9 seconds when the person was at this place, the sound was traveling all the way to the cliff and coming back in 1.9 seconds. Traveling all the way to the cliff and coming back because we are talking about echo. We are talking about reflection, two directions of the sound, right? When the person was in the other location, T2, the time, 3.5 seconds is the time taken by the sound to travel all the way to the cliff and come back to this location. So now the time t which is t2 minus t1 which is 1.6 is the time taken by the sound to travel all the way to this location and come back which is 250 plus 250, 500 divided by 1.6. If you do these calculation you should get your answer. Let us see. They are doing the same thing. 500 divided by 1.6 which is 312.5 meters. Your answer should be 312.5 meters. All right. If you still have any questions or any queries, you can get back to me in the comment section. Here I am showing the mark scheme for you all to refer again. And if you have any doubts, please get back to me in the comment section. Thank you.